on the east side of Kalimantan Island. There is a mountain called Mount Maratus and a lake called Lake Jampang. There was a legend which said that both of them were twin who broke a promise to the gods and their father. King Makan was a wise king. His people lived prosperously and peaceful. The only thing that made him sad was a child that he prayed for never came. Until one day, God finally gave his blessing by gave him a pair of twins. Miratus loved his land. He really got along with farmers and loved to stop by their hut. I love this land, all kind of plants, and the whole nature. People needs water. I love water and my people. Jenpen really got along with fishermen. He also liked to sail across the river. The sound of the river's current really pleased him. Despite their differences, both of them lived harmoniously and loved their people. Until the time for King Mahakan to be abdicated was came, he called both of his sons. I will divide my territory into two. Prince Meritus will be ruling the southeast to south region, and Prince Jempang will be ruling the east to west region. Meratus and Jenpang's coronation day arrived. Let, Let curse befall on us, if, if we, we fight, fight in disappointing our father. Meratus and Jenpang lived peacefully, but this peace didn't last long. For their own benefit, advisors started to inciting their own leader. War is inevitable. Everything became ominous because of war. Meratus and Jenpang finally met each other, and they realized, We have broken our promise. Let the curse befall on us. Jenpang turned into a beautiful and calm lake. It never recedes and always gave abundant catches. Miratus turned into a majestic mountain. Carl always formed around its peak. Sick even in a drought season, rain always came. It became the proof that Miratus and Jenpang still loves their people until these days.